yesterday we have understood how to uh, provide internet connection to our board. So we understood about one module that is a Wi-Fi module ESP8266. Nothing but a system on chip that we have understood, uh, with which we also understand that it also has one microcontroller, because of which if you see the pin descriptions, you will be uh, able to see that there are two GPIO pins also given, because it is a system on chip. So apart from that, we also have a few extra pins uh, like one is enable enable pin uh, through which we are going to enable the module uh, two pins to power up this uh, particular module and it will work for 3.3 volts so uh, its input means the power voltage here is 3.3 volts and then one pin is for reset apart from that as we know that it is a serial wi-fi transceiver module uh, that means have two pins one to send and one to receive like that so rx pin with the help of which the module will receive the data and tx pin is the one with which we are going to send the data so suppose if this module we are going to uh, interface with our Arduino board look like this uh, so for our Arduino board we need to create an extra pair to connect that ESP module. So how do we uh, create an extra pair? We already know that you have to create an instance of a software serial header and then uh, mention the extra pair to which you will connect your, the particular Wi-Fi module. And this is used internally for the serial port because in Arduino the serial port is also available. So apart from this, Apart from this, you are going to connect 3.3 and the enable pin to the 3.3 volts and also the ground pin. And here we are not going to make use of a reset pin because we are not resetting the module. Instead, we are resetting the module with the help of attention commands only. And we are not going to make use of these pins because we are not interfacing any uh, input output device directly with the module. Instead, we are interfacing them to the Arduino and through this module we are going to send their data. So these three pins will remain untouched. We are not going to interface them. So as a starting procedure, what are we going to do? First, let us understand uh, if configuring this ESP8266, is it going to provide the internet connection or not? For which you will have to send some AT commands to the module like first you will be sending attention with which the reply from the module will be okay if it is properly powered up and interfaced then you are going to reset the module so that it comes back to zero uh, and it will restart again uh, then you are putting the mode configuring the mode of the module that means should your esp work as a host or as a client so here we are going to uh, put the ESP module in uh, both the modes, that is dual mode. So how do you uh, mention the mode? CW mode, you will mention number as 3. Instead 3, if we mention 1 or 2, accordingly that particular mode will be established for that particular module. So after that, because we are using it to connect uh, Wi-Fi to the system, uh, to our Arduino board, First, let me check any uh, which all uh, sorry which all Wi-Fi connections are available. So I want to take the list of the points. So pass this command, send it to the Wi-Fi module. Uh, in return, it is going to give you the list like these many Wi-Fi connections are available. Uh, so that to whichever Wi-Fi you want to connect with, join access point is going to be the command with which you will enter the name of the Wi-Fi and also the password. So till here, it is going to be the basic connection and the attention commands with which we get to know that connection is established or not. Connection as in Wi-Fi connection to the board. So once we do this uh, as the basic procedure, first before sending the commands, 
interfacing is necessary which we know how to interface with the pin connections that i have already shown this should be your interfacing after that you have to load the first program so load the first program as in what here what are you doing these commands you are sending from your arduino board to the wifi module correct that means you have to write the trans transmitting program of the serial port and to send the next command you should also see that the reply from the module is coming back or not that means you have to receive also to your arduino board through the serial port so the same chatting program you are going to write send and receive so where i have uh, explained you there were two boards now assume one is the board and the other one is the module so it is going to be the same uh, chatting program that you will load on your arduino board first after which you will send the commands and you will wait until you get an appropriate reply so once uh, a particular wifi uh, you have is successfully connected to your board then it is going to show you some message like this which is shown up here at the end if you connect to one particular wifi with the password it will say if wifi is connected it will say wifi connected wifi has got some ip like that and it will send back okay so till th that is going to be the confirmation so first let us know how do we write this first program so you will help me to write the first program so this is going to be nothing but chatting program only this is going to be chatting program itself so what are you going to do first you have to set up where you will indicate begin the serial communication with the board right but now what are you connecting to the other side to your board the other side is a wifi module and with what rate it is going to work it is going to work with 115200 board rate so let your serial communication also work with the same board rate correct so let this be in the setup what are you going to do in the loop if your serial port get some data like what can be the data this can be the data that you get as an reply from the wifi module like okay wifi got uh, connected wifi got ip like that that would be the reply that you will get to your arduino board through the serial port so in this case what are you going to do uh, maybe read the data the data and then on the serial port correct what will be next so you have connected to the other side one wifi module for which you have to design uh, design some extra pair correct so for which you have to include header file what is it software serial dot h pair how to design the pair software serial let the pair name be m a uh, extra pair that you need to connect your wifi module to the board so as an example i'll take 10 and 11 what does that mean which is rx pin rx pin will be 10 and 
Tx pin is going to be 11. Yes, so Rx of this you will connect from your board, you will connect to Tx of the Wi-Fi module. Tx pin that is there here. This pin means 10 from your board, you will connect to Tx of the ESP module. And 11 which is Tx of your board, you will connect to Rx of the module. The same is mentioned here. Tx of the module to Rx which is 10 and Rx of the module which is uh, Tx of our board 11. Interconnection. So from here if you are sending that means this will receive. From here if you are sending that means your board is going to receive that. Okay. So let us begin that communication also. With same bond. Correct? This much is clear. Okay. Now, uh, if there is some incoming data from the module, from the Wi Fi module, how do you get that? You have to write here m dot available. Yes. You will read it and then you will print it on your port. Correct? Is it understood? Okay. Other way. Of your uh, port you are sending something. So if data is available read it and then where you have to send it you have to send it on that uh, means you have to uh, transmit it to your Wi-Fi module. So Wi-Fi module pair is M. M dot print. Understood? Or not? Same how you did chatting program. Same way. Ma'am, M dot print A or B? B, B, B. So, if from your Wi-Fi module, if you are getting the data, if you are reading, able to read the data, read it and print it back on the monitor so that you see the data. So, what will be the data generally? It will be a response for your commands that you are going to send. So, suppose if you are sending the commands, and if your serial port is reading those commands, then pass them to the ESP module like that. Yes. So the same is shown here in the PPT also, if you check here. If on your port, if the data is available, you are writing it on the serial uh, ESP module. If from there data is available, you are writing it on the serial port. So generally this will be, this is my serial, which there I have mentioned as M or X, something like that, correct? So generally this will be a response from the module. This is what you are sending to the module like that. Okay, and the baud rate you will have to keep in mind because that module operates with a specific baud rate. Same I have written. If any data available from uh, the module as a response, I'm going to use it on my, I'm going to print it on the serial port. As a command, whatever I'm sending, I will write it on the ESP module. So instead of print, let us make use of write. Because when we are writing, write means generally there won't be any integer kind of data like that. Because whatever uh, data we are passing, it is always character. So no need of using print. Print you will use generally when you want to print some numbers like that. Correct? So this is going to be your first program that you are going to load only after which you will pass these commands one by one. Then only it is going to work. This you are sending from Arduino board and your ESP will receive it and send back the reply. Same this, this, this like that. 
then once you get an appropriate reply like the one i have shown uh, at the end the reply is going to be this because this is the last command that you are going to send once this is done that means now your board is set up with the wi-fi connection uh, so here you will be when you are doing it in the lab you will be using your phone's wi-fi connection okay then now what are we doing with this once we have established the wi-fi connection i want to send some data from here through the board th to the cloud so yesterday i have made you understand how to create an account in the cloud correct everyone has created things speak account okay so tomorrow when you will do the lab first thing that you will have to do is create a things speak account first so everyone will individually uh, use your own accounts and upload some data yes to your own accounts okay so next what you have to do once you are done with writing the program next is without removing the supply what you have to do second program you have to load so what will be the second program is in the second program like i have mentioned yesterday there is a read api key write api key like that so because to the cloud we are writing the data correct this is cloud things speak cloud from the board we are writing the data so that is why here we will be using write api key or read api key which one are we going to use we are writing to the cloud so which api key we are going to use definitely write api key so in the program that i will be explaining now somewhere you will have mentioned the write api key there okay and the link so what will be the link i'll make you understand yes after that once you write that program and upload in the program you will have mentioned to which field you have to upload uh, whose account you have to upload what is the api key what is the link everything so that next whatever data you wanted to upload now that is uploaded and you can observe it in your things speak account like yesterday i was show i had shown you like channel 1 is there field is there channel 2 is there like that correct so first before starting this uh, let me open that my account which i have created yesterday so whatever email id you have logged in with or created account with and the password you will have to remember was the account that i created yesterday with some password so the channel which i had created yesterday right now there is nothing so see when i open that channel there was nothing so once you upload that second program you will be able to see the data here like whatever value you will upload maybe temperature data or ir data or some sensor data or any data it might be which will be plotted in the graph form here okay okay so right now nothing is there so it is not showing you anything and where are you going to get the keys keys are going to be here api keys write api key read api key along with that there was something mentioned link okay what is this link the links are available here write a channel feed there is a link correct read a channel feed 
there is a link so for writing to a channel you need to make use of the link so what is this api key it is your right api key you can check it's the right api key to read from the channel you need to use this particular link and for that it is using read api key it is using read api key this is for channel and this is for field like that and for the status updates okay so these are your links that you will have to use so which appro uh, means according to if you want to write or read like that you have to use a specific link there so now you have with you uh, api key also now you have the link also now how will you write the program for which there are some steps shown so first what you have to do when you write the program first now what all you have here you have cloud where you have write api key and uh, links and everything and here there is a board which board this is arduino board which through which you wanted to send some data to the cloud which was directly not possible so in between you interface a module called as esp8266 for which you have followed few steps to establish the connection now connection is established means now your board has the internet connection this has an internet connection now correct now from your board to this there should be some connectivity right now it has some internet connection how are you going to connect them is with the help of any of your ip protocols and yesterday itself we have understood that this board has which stack esp module has has which uh, ip stack it has tcp bar ip protocol stack that means because you have used the same board to establish the connection to connect this to the cloud you will make use of the same protocol tcp ip which is uh, you have learned about socket correct few of you have learned the socket connection yes socket tcp socket udp socket like that in our pipe is taught socket tcp socket udp socket okay so the protocol connection you will have to establish and how are you going to establish that connectivity is you have to again send some command to the module what's the command cip start and what are you going to send there you are going to send which protocol which domain and what is the port so that was shown here in the command yesterday start the connection start the connection so which type of connection with ip protocols you can either use your tcp or udp because whatever module you have used it has tcp stack you have to use tcp type of connection only transmission control protocol connection and address what kind of addresses you are following you are following ip kind of addresses because protocols are ip protocols internet protocols so address you will write it as ip okay and you have to also mention some port here port number yes so right now i have mentioned port number to be 80 there's a meaning why 80 is mentioned as the port number so can you tell me which server has 80 as the port number means if you connect through port 80 which server do you access 80 so port number 80 is assigned for internet communication protocol http hypertext transfer protocol correct so because you are going to make use of internet communication protocol only tcp udp like that that is why port you have to choose 80 only 
you cannot you choose a generic code like you cannot write there 8000 you are not going to make uh, use of any random code you are using internet communication protocol only ip correct that is why you have to write code number as 80 only this is fixed for one protocol it is fixed okay so you will have to make use of 80 as the number port number yes once you send this again it is going to reply you back give some uh, particular reply wifi module will give the reply back when it will give the reply only when this start of connection is established after that you have to send url in the form of string what is that url i was talking about a link correct the link like read api link write api link the link which i had mentioned already these links these are url links correct this link uh, whichever according to if you are writing or reading or reading from a field like that right now what are we doing we are writing to a channel correct so whatever here link you are getting with which you will be able to write to your channel this link you have to send in a string format so what you can do copy this string uh, copy this entire uh, link make it as a string and send it to to the wifi module that is what you will have to do create a url in the form of link of a string you have to pass it as a string next up once you do that get the length of the url so how create the link first create the string first assume this is the link the link which i showed you just now create it in the form of string yes then get the length of it get the length of the string and then send the length first because if you observe the commands that you have you have to send length not the data directly so how much of length of data you want to send that you will have to send not the actual link so first create the link in the form of string here then get its length length of the link you will have to send to the wifi module yes if wifi module replies back greater than as the symbol if that comes as the reply then you have to pass your string to the module with which your data will be sent to the module is that understood first up to establish connection wifi connection we have understood correct next you have to upload the next program to the board uh, with which you will send some data to the cloud now we are understanding how to write that program second program with which you have to send the data so in that program what is the first thing you have to do you have to send some command first in the program you have to send some command what's the command you have to establish connection first which connection arduino board to the cloud connection your board has got now internet connection so one internet connected board and a cloud which is already internet how do you connect both you need some protocol to connect so you will use any of the internet protocol so one of the protocol is tcp which we are going to use because your board is connected to wifi through a module called as esp which has tcp stack that is why you will make use of tcp connection and what kind of ip addresses you are following ip addresses you are following because protocols are ip protocols and how you are connecting you are making use of internet communication protocols so the port address will be fixed which is going to be 80 so you will send this command to the module this is the command it will give back an appropriate reply if connection is established between your board and the cloud if they are connected to the 
through this particular code if established once that is done what you have to do in your program in your program you have to mention your api key means to which cloud which field you want to write and also a link through which you will be sending the data now from where do you get the link you get the link in your user account that you have already created so right now you need to make use of write api key link is going to be to write to a channel feed so this is your entire link this is the entire link correct where api key is already mentioned your this api key your api key is only mentioned here right now because we are uploading the data it will be write api key for reading it is going to be read api key like that okay so this whatever link you are seeing you need to convert it in the form of string first okay how to convert will be explained that link you have to convert first in the form of string why because you have to pass it to the module module will only understand characters not as a link correct so first convert your link to a string get its length because first you have to send the length of the string as a url that you want to send so send the length first if wifi module replies back greater than symbol then you can send your data what will be that data data will be where you have mentioned url only yes so you will be sending the data if it doesn't reply this then there is no meaning in continuing because there was it is not accepting uh, that much of length of data you have to close the connection is that understood so these steps i have written the program already let us just try to understand this you have to send first correct so leave what is all this here i have made the setup first correct what you have to send first you have to send first the command what is the command that you have to send this should be the command that you have to send but whatever you want to send to your module it should be in string format so let me declare it in string format data type is string what is the data it is your command that is going to be the data correct you are writing it what type of connection ip address and what is your port that you are going to use from where do you get this ip address from where do you get this ip address whose ip address you have to write here there is your cloud here there is your arduino board from here you want to connect to this through what protocol through tcp protocol that you have mentioned already you want to connect to this how do you identify this with its ip address and what is this this is thing speak cloud so its ip is fixed thing speak cloud's ip address is fixed so you have to write the specific ip address so i'll show it to you here One eighty four dot one zero six dot one fifty three dot one forty nine for cloud things pick cloud through port eighty. So I have to use port eighty only. Correct. Now this was your entire command that you wanted to send. Correct. Where is it? This should be your entire string. I'll copy it. should be the string and as a string you have to send correct okay? as a string you will have to send because here i want to show you like what should be how to join the strings i have written it in three different steps joining of string 
so understand i have written ap plus C, cip start equal to till here it is written correct after equal to what you need to have you need to have a double quote starting of double quote because you start your string also with double quote how do you write the print double quote you have to use backslash and use double quote to print a double quote because you have already started with double quote so to print a double quote you have to use backslash and then write the double quote that will print the double quote so you wanted at plus cip start you have sent like that already equal to so in the command equal to is also there then you wanted a double quote because string you have already indicated if you directly write double quote it will take as end of string but now you want to print a double quote because you want to indicate tcp in double quote so how do you print a double quote using backslash if you write like this double quote will print then you wrote tcp then what you want to print again a double quote you have to print so again a backslash and double quote that is printed correct so this is done after this there is a comma so comma is there after com comma what you want to print again you want to print a double quote so backslash double quote so till here done till here you have sent along with this what else you have to send you have to send the ip which you have to again indicate in the double quote so i have ended my string first for the same string i have uh, i want to again join the ip joining concatenation where you can use plus symbol this is like you are writing a plus equal to b what does that mean a equal to a plus b so if i am writing like this that means i am taking the previous one to this i am joining few more after this what you have to join ip you have to join so i have indicated ip correct so ip is done once this is done next you have to write the quote but what else is left you have to write double quote comma then indicate the port number how do you print double quote now you print double quote backslash double quote it will print the double quote then comma comma 80 80 this is indicating start and end of the string so you have sent the command you have made it as the string first and you have sent it what is this this is the pair i have used their m that pair it is is that understood or not this one Oh, huh, you can send it in one line instead of writing so much you can write string command equal to 80 plus ip start equal to tcp comma ip address 184 dot one zero six dot one fifty three dot one four eighty. This way also you can send online. From here till here it is same. You can send in one line also you can send. here I, i just wanted to show you how to print how to join like that so because it is string data type data type is string that is why okay so you can write it this way also so once you make it as a string the command that you want to send you are sending it on the est module so which step is done now this step is done correct first step is done that you are sending the uh, that particular command to the wifi module what the module will reply if connection is not established it will send error back means you will be able to read error back 
if it is not uh, established the connection. So if there is an error, there is no meaning in continuing. You have to stop your program here itself because we are not able to connect to the Wi-Fi cloud, means to the cloud through the Wi-Fi. Okay. If not, what you have to do? You have to return if there is an error. If not, what you have to do? If not, you have to go ahead. Create your URL first in the form of string. Get its length. Send the length first, then send the data. So first, let us create that length of the string. Let me create the string. What is this? This is nothing but your link that you had seen there. So let me take that link. The link that I am seeing here. Okay, this is my my uh, link link. Okay, this you have to now convert it to a string first and get its length first. So what all is there in that? Let us check. If you observe here, this is the link to access your uh, your particular account where you want to write your API key. Which field? Field one is zero. Where is the field? Here I had created one field yesterday. Field one was the name, correct? So here I want to write, assume, I want to write here. So I will, in the API key, I want to write on field one. What should be the value? Right now it is zero because there is no value. So what value you want to write that you have to mention here. Equal to zero is nothing but the value that you want to write to this particular field. Okay, so I have copied it here. This entire link, now I have to make it as a string first. Okay, so what all is there? Get, you have some link here that I have mentioned. After this, update API key, it is there. Yes, and you have to update your API key. What field? What is the value? The value is nothing but what you have read. So here instead of this, sorry, here instead of this zero, you want whatever value you have to send, you have to equate it. Finished. Is that understood? This entire thing, again, you can directly send it as the data. I mean, as a string like this. Okay, this should be your API key. Here, what you want to send? I have read what? I have read the temperature. Temperature is an integer. Let me convert it to string. What's the value? Temperature I want to upload, finished. So entire link, you make it as one string. Now the string here is get str, name of the string. It is like this now. So this is the string. How do you get the length of the string? This is the string. Yes. So you will have declared it as string. How do you get the length of the string? You have a function called as length to get the length of the string, which you have to pass to using this particular command. So command I have taken to this length I am attaching and then I am sending it to the module. That means now I have completed this one, getting the length and then sending it to the module. 
if you get back this as an answer so i am waiting here to get back this as an answer then what you have to do you have to send that data what is there in this 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 is there so that on field 1 it will keep uploading temperature data if not then you have to close the connection that's it. so one more thing that you will have to keep uh, th see here is thing speak needs 15 second of delay 15 second of delay between two updates means suppose now first time temperature value it has updated at 625 tenth second next update you will get it at 625 plus 15 means 25th second will be the update next update so from one update to the next update there will be 15 second of delay in between okay and whenever there is a successful update from your arduino to the things speak your arduino board inbuilt led should blink twice why it should blink twice after successful update means it is just uh, telling you that whatever data you want wanted to update after every 15 second if you observe the led of your board is going to blink twice like send receive send receive like that but between every update there is going to be 15 second of delay it is because of your cloud it has to establish connection take the data or send the data like that so minimum delay is going to be 15 second so that's how you send your data to the cloud if you are not understanding this simply send the data directly like this where do you get this it is in your account yes and if you observe have i used this api which api i have used which link i have used this one or this one which one i have used if whatever here if you see and field one api key bar update question mark api key where is it where do you find it it is here only yes here i have not written which api key you have to write your api key that's it your api key you have to write instead of doing all this copy this link from here till here load it as a string take its length Lo uh, send the length first then send the data data you need to be careful what data you want to send here it will be by default zero as you can see by default it is zero so what data you want to send to this field field 1 if it is field 1 here in your channel if it is another channel different field you need to be careful you have to write the specific field right now here mine is field 1 it's field 1 like this you may have multiple fields correct to which field you want to write the data that you will have to be careful you have to check here that field name should be here like number field 1 or field 2 or field 3 like that and what should be the data suppose i want to now send this temperature data how to read the temperature we know already this is now integer right this is integer before sending it to the cloud it has to be in character form so i will convert it first to character form because it is going to be temperature means more than one uh, byte of value so i will make use of string which is a inbuilt function to convert one value to string format and then i will share it on the field 1 upload on the field 1 so this if you are not understanding you can make use of this directly how to get the length there is a function called as length it's a string format you are going to send and that you will upload or send to the cloud if it replies back this that means it is ready to accept that much of length of data 
so you send your string what is there this is only there with which temperature data you are now uploading to field 1 whose write api key is this that means now if you run this program temperature value will now get uploaded here here for every 15 seconds it will keep updating so like this you should be able to upload any data that you want to upload so you have to keep in mind the steps so basic seven steps first establishing the connection after that sending program once you upload data will go you can check it in the browser to write the program first establish the connection take the string that you want to send the data with convert it to string first get the length pass the length first if reply is appropriate then pass the link as a data form where you will have mentioned which uh, api key which account which field and what should be the data like here i have mentioned here this is it this is the key means it will come to my account now and to this field this data you want to upload so before sending this complete string first you have to get its length send the length then you can send the data if this is not the reply that means it is not accepting that uh, length of data so you have to close the communication how do you close the communication cip close to close that tcp connection established and for the user to indicate you can just send this for the user to understand that communication is closed if not if this is the answer that reply the uh, esp module is giving back that indicates it is ready to accept so that you can send that link as a string is this understood online students is it understood or not abhishek mani priya both priyanka sachin shruti satish sunil vandana So if you are not replying, that means I'll assume you have understood. Okay. So tomorrow in the lab, you will have to uh, first establish the connection with ESP and try to upload some data. Any data you can upload. As an example, I have shown temperature data. Yes. So before establishing that connection to ESP, first you have to create your user account in the ThingSpeak cloud. Okay. So along with ThingSpeak, like I have already indicated, you can make use of many clouds. Like there's a cloud given by IBM, there's a cloud given by AWS like that. But why we are using ThingSpeak only because it's a free cloud. You don't need to pay anything. So we are going to use that. So you will create an account there and upload the data. Okay, so that you are going to do tomorrow, 4.30. demonstrate okay uh, tomorrow or day after i will demonstrate uh, satish once the offline students will do i will demonstrate uh, from establishing the connection till uploading the data that time i will once again explain you uh, separately to write the program also okay maybe day after tomorrow we will do 4 30 only So all the online students will join that day to check like whatever I have explained how the connection will establish. Priyanka, Priyanka, then Satish will join. Rest all offline students are going to come offline tomorrow and do it here.
ओके थैंक यू